this is the Mabatani area of Kwale in coastal Kenya. School is out for the day. Two of these children could have been Mama Mwanaidi Hussein's, but her children died in a quarry accident only a few meters from her house. We scrambled to dig them out. We found the first child who was partially buried. He survived. We dug again. We found Ismaili, my son, who was already dead. We dug still and found my second son, Juma. He too was dead. This area is still quite soft and standing on it, it gives me a perspective of why it was quite easily able to cave in on the children as they stood here. Many quarries like this in the coast region are a source of basic income for those who come here to harvest. But to the families that lost their loved ones, it was a harvest of death. Over 80 kilometers away in Cliffy, another horror story. Hassan Majimbo tells me his son picked up a piece of wire and metal from a quarry, hoping they would power a radio back at home. When he connected the wires, he tried testing them with his mouth because he wasn't sure the batteries had enough charge. But as soon as the wire touched his tongue, the metal exploded. It was an unused piece of dynamite. His lower jaw was blown off. He is now fed everything with the help of a syringe and has difficulty talking. He no longer goes to school and needs constant care, so much so that his father has had to quit his day job, ironically, as a quarry worker. The number of quarry-related injuries and deaths are causing alarm in Kenya's coast region. At least 20 active quarries are spread throughout coastal Kenya, and there are concerns they are poorly regulated. In Kwale County, where the children died, local mining laws are under review but the minister says the laws must not affect livelihoods. These mines, although they spoil the environment and are a threat to people, they are also a source of livelihood to the same people. We have to make sure we provide an alternative livelihood to those affected. Majimbo Karisa hopes that one day he will collect enough money to get his son reconstructive surgery. Meanwhile, the quarry in Kwale has also been flattened at the ages to make it less dangerous. But many in the community say that without tough laws, human lives remain at risk. Ferdinand Mundi, BBC News, Mombasa.